Hi, I'm Amanda Olson. I'm a doctor of physical therapy and a certified pelvic floor rehabilitation specialist, and I'm the president of Intimate Rose. And today we are discussing pelvic floor muscle dysfunction. Though it sounds daunting, I wanna make it clear that if you have this diagnosis or suspect you have this diagnosis, you are not broken and it's a very fixable condition. It does take time, but it'll be worth it. Pelvic floor muscle dysfunction describes pelvic floor muscles that are not behaving as we would expect them to. And that can result in some very embarrassing and sometimes um, life altering symptoms. The symptoms of pelvic floor muscle dysfunction include urinary incontinence, pelvic organ prolapse, urinary urgency and frequency, constipation, fecal incontinence, and sometimes pelvic pain and issues with sexual functioning. It can also masquerade as hip pain because the pelvic floor muscles are very closely uh, related to the hip muscles themselves. So pelvic floor muscle dysfunction essentially describes muscles that are not coordinated, not activating and deactivating on time and can result in all those symptoms. But more broadly, they can be described as underactive pelvic floor muscles or overactive pelvic floor muscles. And sometimes people have both. And that's why it's really important to see a pelvic health physical therapist or occupational therapist for an evaluation to determine exactly how your muscles are behaving. Underactive pelvic floor muscle dysfunction often describes muscles that are not coordinated on time, are not firing on time, or maybe are too weak after an injury, a surgery, or having been pregnant or having a baby, and they need to be retrained in timing and coordination and strength. So there are two muscles of the pelvic floor, and treatment is often aimed at restrengthening them. And sometimes treatment includes using vaginal weights for those with vaginas to help strengthen and improve the coordination and awareness of the pelvic floor muscles. Overactive pelvic floor muscle dysfunction describes pelvic floor muscles that are often overactive, so they're activating when they should not be, or maybe they are not relaxing or demonstrating good flexibility. We need the pelvic floor muscles to be strong, but also well-coordinated, and we need them to be able to drop and relax to have a bowel movement or to have intercourse or a medical exam or use a tampon and for proper range of motion of our hips and our spine. So overactive pelvic floor muscles are often shortened or too tight or have spasms. They commonly present with pain or sometimes urinary urgency and frequency and issues with sexual function as well, including difficulty with penetration or pain with orgasm. Treatment for that commonly includes retraining the pelvic floor muscles, how to drop and relax, and then commonly uses the wand to help address any trigger points, tender points, or fascial restriction in the muscles, and sometimes use of dilators to retrain the muscles and the fascia for those that are having difficulty with penetration, such as using a tampon or having intercourse or a medical exam. We are always here for you. You can email us at support at intimaterose.com. We are here to answer all your questions, and then additionally, we have hundreds more articles on this blog here. So. Please do not hesitate to reach out if you have any other questions or concerns.